Uh, hello friends, this is Paul Frazee. Uh, we have a new workflow for creating DATs in pre-release 6, and I wanted to take a moment to explain the changes. One of the basic things Beaker needs to do is get your sites and apps into the DAT network. And you need to be able to develop your sites using editors both inside and outside the Beaker browser. In the current Beaker pre-release, we use the Workspaces solution. Here, you would set a directory on your hard drive, and then when changes are made, you'd see a little notice. You could then review your changes before publishing. If you wanted to see your work in progress, you'd go to a special URL called the Workspace URL. Notably, this was different than the DAT URL, which is where your published files went. So, the flow in Workspaces was to publish files from your Workspace to your DAT. This design had a couple of problems, which I discuss in detail with PR954. But the basic issue was that in Beaker, you have apps that read and write files, and sometimes apps wanted to write to the workspace, and other times they wanted to be able to write to the DAT. And that led to some confusing situations. We decided the best move would be to simplify the design. So here's what we're releasing in pre-release 6. Rather than having a workspace folder that you manually publish to the DAT, you'll now be able to set a local folder that bidirectionally syncs with the DAT. So, if you make a change to the local folder, that'll get written to the DAT, and if an app makes a change to the published DAT, that'll get written to your local folder. So, changes are now written in both directions automatically, keeping your folder and your DAT in sync. This makes the development and publishing flow relatively simple and automatic. Rather than having a special workspace URL, you now just have a URL of the DAT. No more choosing between the workspace and the DAT. Let us know how this worked for you, and as always, please send us your feedback. Thank you.